It's back to the examination moons for thousands of students. Good morning, everyone. I'm LaDawn Davis, and this is the Morning Edition. Thank you so much for tuning in. Students will face another attempt at writing the Bahamas General Certificate of Secondary Education, the BGCSE, and Bahamas Junior Certificate. But as it stands now, education officials say everything is in place to mitigate against COVID-19 concerns. Here's Jimonita Swain. Practical and theory segments for national examinations are slated to commence today, September 14th, for senior students and junior students across the country. Thousands were set to write the exams, even though many would have already entered a tertiary institution. Under Secretary in the Ministry of Education with Administration for National Examinations, Sarethia Clark says practicals for the BJC exams will commence this week as well. We expect some changes in that number. Initially, there was approximately 6,500 candidates registered, and we know that there are some students who would have gone off to university. The students who are at the University of the Bahamas, we have been able to liaise with the University of the Bahamas, and President Smith has confirmed that the lecturers are aware of students sitting the BGCS exams and these students are not to be penalized for the days when they are not a part of their virtual sessions. Students will sit exams at the schools where they initially registered. Ninth grade students in the public schools would be getting ready to move into a new school come the 5th of October when school reopens because they would have completed their tenure at the junior high school and so they would be going on to a senior high school. With so many disruptions and adjustments due to the coronavirus pandemic in the year, students who feel ill-prepared for the national exams have this option. If they don't feel comfortable sitting the exam, that they can ask to have it deferred to next year. And if they're asking for a refund, they would have to go to the school and complete an application that has to be processed. Clark says school campuses are ready for students and equipped with necessary safety protocols. The students know that when they get to the schools, they have to sanitize as well. So we have persons, we, the Ministry of Education has gone to the extent of hiring additional persons who we're referring to as runners. And these persons will be able to assist in ensuring that safety protocols are being followed. Persons are going to the rooms where they're supposed to be, making sure that examiners are in the rooms and so on. To, help us to manage the exams. Officials say considerations will be given to the challenges students have had to endure and each student will have the chance to share what they have learned and the ministry will not seek to disadvantage any candidate. Jiminy Swain, ZNS Network News.